is good YouTube you have joined me for a brand new episode of Madden Ultimate Team now if you did not check out my last episode my peer conceded the game in my playoffs yet EA decided to give me the loss but we're not gonna be focusing on that we're gonna be focusing on these most feared morph players there's three categories speed or scary fast scary tall and scary strong you guessed it the scary fast players get faster Tariq Cohen's got 96 speed the scary strong players get stronger and higher trucking and hit power. And the scary tall players get taller. This Ray Lewis has got 99 hit power, like I mentioned before. He's scary strong, and he is the master of that set. To keep you guys updated on my Mutt Master status, we have been grinding. We've got some more online games to play. We've got a few more solo challenges to play. It's not the easiest list to complete, but we're going to try to bring that Sean Taylor home. But I run the Thanksgiving promo to have those extra coins. Now, that being said, we are ready to jump right into our first online game in this new season. My opponent has the ball to start off the game. He's looking to drive down the field with Phillip Rivers. He's got a bench concept going over here. Keanu Neal is over there. He's going to force that ball loose with a big, big hit, big time. Jordy Nelson. I thought for sure that was going to be intercepted by Stefan Gilmore. He did not get the animation. I call a blitz here, and my cornerback gets absolutely toasted. But luckily, Tavon Austin falls down, so he does not get the touchdown. We still have the chance to force him to get a field goal or possibly intercept the ball. Ray Lewis makes a huge stop to force the field goal right there. Back on offense on 2nd and 10, Aaron Rodgers is going to force a ball to it. Antonio Gates. It's going to fall incomplete. Should have thrown it to the open receiver. And my opponent calls a very nice blitz for that play. And we're going to punt the ball. My opponent's back on offense, obviously. He's looking for his open receiver, Tavon Austin, again. I missed the hit stick with Ray Lewis. Come on. Yo, Ray Lewis is making plays still. He made a nice tackle there. That was an odd tackle right there. He kind of just flopped on the ground to tackle Derek Henry. Third and goal. That's getting stopped. We were all over that, man. But on fourth and goal, my opponent, you see his tight end in the flat. That is going to be a touchdown for my opponent. Aaron Rodgers is going to be dropping back in the pocket and an inaccurate ball to Mike Wallace. He dropped it on second and 10. Third and 10. He's rushing out of the pocket. Misses my tight end. We're going to go for it on fourth and 10. We need the momentum on offense. Right here, CJ Fedorix gets that for us. We're looking for Derrick Henry. The dude is a monster when he's morphed like this. Absolutely strong. The player spotlight is on him right now. The morphage of these players on this Halloween weekend is boss. It's only going on for 48 hours. I'm definitely enjoying it so far. Derrick Henry's a monster right now. Ed Reed should not be tested. Like I said earlier, we're going to be trying to get this ball to that boy Derrick Henry as much as we can. As you see on the flip play, it looks like he might be able to take this one to the house, but his safety is going to be able to catch up with me. But you know what? It doesn't even matter the strength to break that tackle. is absolutely amazing. And my opponent has actually a Derrick Henry as well, but you know, he can't do it as well as mine does. In third and long, my opponent tries to run the ball again with that boy, and he's going to fake punt, disrespect me up the middle. Ray Lewis is not having any of that. It's actually going to get intercepted. I'm not exactly sure why my defense wanted to intercept that because we would have had much better field position if they just let it fall. I'm okay with that. Just getting the ball back means a lot. CJ Fedorik with a great grab. We're going to do the toss, but that's not going anywhere. He kind of ran into my O-lineman's butt. But my opponent is trying to test me. It looks like we're playing hot potato with the ball right now. But we're not, not, not really. I mean, Stefan Gilmore is going to get the interception here. He's going to have nothing but open field in front of him. And he is going to take that one to the house. Since it's the fourth quarter and my opponent is down two scores, he is trying to force a ball to Ed Reed. He shouldn't have done it. I said it earlier. He should not be testing that boy, Ed Reed, one of my best defensive players, if I do say so. 
And if you've played Mutt before, you know the low determination people have. If, they, if he's down three scores, he's not going to be wanting to be in this game anymore. He's going to quit the game, and we're going to jump into our second online game of the day. Aaron Rodgers is looking to hook up with Mike Evans right here on the left side of the field. That's a great connection that even Eli Manning and Odell don't have. Now this play right here, I'm going to shut the fuck up right away. Sorry for my manners, but watch Derrick Henry though. That truck was a beast mode run by Derrick Henry. That reminds me of the old days when he was at Alabama. Remember when he destroyed Monte Teo? Everyone thought Monte Teo was the shit, but then he got rocked as we get the interception right here with Keanu Neal. The opponent is actually going to quit the game. I'm going to tell you that right now. Now, while I'm talking, I'm going to ask you guys a question. How would you guys feel about a live comma, or a, not a live comma, a dual comma? I was thinking about a... Doing a dual con with my friend, either Madden or Black Ops, something like that. Hit me up down below. This is the team. If you enjoyed my episode, please go ahead and hit that like button. It will mean a lot to me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.